Well, hello everybody. How are you? How are you? Hey, my name is Wayne. You're watching Inside Fail On. Today, we are here at Giovanni's. Why? Because they're taking part in a special fundraiser for Fire Company number three. And I'm going to go inside and check it out. So stay with me. Let's see what's going on. So how come every time I walk around town and there's a special fundraiser or some interesting event going on, you guys somehow are involved with that? How do you always do that, huh? It just uh, happens? Uh, well, people approach us, ask us if we'll do, they, they guess they see the success in them that we do. So a lot of the organizations in town um, They They understand we'll that. that. And actually, uh, for those two people in town that don't know you, introduce <laughs> yourself. So tell everybody who you are. Uh, Mom, Mom, give me a wave, Mom. Come here. Come on, get over here. Oh, what are you? Yes, um, yes, yes, yes. Just, just say hi. Name? Uh, Anthony. I'm Sandy. And I'm Josh. Now, this has been a family that's been in this town for, oh, four or 5,000 years. I, I, I know that. You look great for that age, by the way. But the key thing is, and the reason why I'm here is because you really do hold many fundraisers for many organizations. I was even here for, I think, the high school lacrosse team once. Mm -hmm. And we were celebrating trying to help them out, too, which I think is really great. How, how do you feel when you do this? Uh, it's awesome because... Uh, you know, we like to help out the community. We know that whether it's a sporting event or an academic or whatever the fundraiser is, that usually the money we donate goes to a good cause. And it always it's does. a little way of giving back to the community for helping us uh, stay in business for all these years. Uh, Which has been quite a long time. A complete yeah, family thing. Mom, how do you feel being here helping out? Mom, you, I feel very good. You feel very good, don't yes. you? I know, you're a sweetheart. And you're here also doing all the same I'm thing. Here. Your thoughts? <laughs> uh, it's the least we can do. I mean, these people come in day in, day out, you know. Good to give like something give back. back. Give back a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Now, you see, they're, they're, they're all sitting over there, and I told them I'm going to come and talk to them. They're going to give me a wave. Guys, are going to come over there and say hi to you in a second or two. Don't go away. Tip of my hat to you and the family, because you really do special things for the town, and it's been for a long time. So go get yourself ready for the big day, and I'll hook up with you in the future, okay? Awesome. Tip of my hat to Thank you. you. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Now we're going to go over there and maybe chat with one of these guys. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? You know, I always get a chance to visit Gianni's over here because they have such incredible fundraisers and activities going on. And today's a little bit special. Fire company number three, and you're the chief, I understand, right? Uh, deputy chief of the department. Your name, what's Correct. your name? My name's Howard Lundner. How long have you been with the, uh, the department? Fire department, yeah. 23 years. And you're still smiling? Yeah. And you're still talking <laughs> to these guys? After yes. 23 years? Believe it or not, yes. Yeah. One of the things I think is kind of special, though, is that the town sometimes gets together certain organizations and businesses to try to help out. How do you feel when somebody like this does something for you guys? Oh, it's great that they uh, support the volunteer organizations. Mm -hmm. you know, it makes us feel good that they support us. Well, you guys are all volunteers from what I understand, correct? And I think correct. that's just really incredible right there. Do you, are you always looking for people to get involved with the, your department, by the way? Or? Yes, always looking for volunteers, new volunteers. Uh, starting at age 16 to 18, we have a junior program, good. which are for the high school, uh, students and stuff and then once they turn 18 and become a regular member of the department. So. Well we hope people come by and support you yeah. and I know they do that all year round. Is it true that you only joined the force actually the department because you like to ride on fire trucks? No. That's no, not true. That's not that. <laughs> all kidding aside, we really appreciate it. Guys, everybody and, and female and women of course, the town really appreciates all your energy and what you do for us and it's really something special. I just want to document that and say tip of my hat to you, really. Thank now you. go have a number 57 because I hear it's one of the best ones here. And we'll get the rest of the town to know what's going on. I'm going to go check right. out your fire truck. And I think there's a way of reaching you if I look at the fire truck. Is that true? Yes, our uh, web address, is, I believe, is right over the there. Yep. Okay, for more information. Thank you, All right. guys. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you very much for everything. All right, don't go away. Folks, here's the uh, fire truck right out in front of Giovanni's, as we talked about. Our special fundraiser day today. Tip of my hat to everybody involved. And I'm going to give you a little close up shot of that website. Hang in there. Uh, now, here's what I was talking about before. And for more information, to get involved, maybe if you're interested in becoming a volunteer, that's the website you should use. All right? And once again, a special thank you to Giovanni's Deli here on Morrill Avenue for always being involved with special fundraisers for organizations and places in town. And I think I'm just going to keep on walking around to visit some more people. So everybody stay with me as Inside Fell On does continue.